Okay, hey there guys, so in this war we're going up against Noon, and just, um, hmm, okay, so, <laughs> oh lordy, to get this, uh, like, to start, it just, like, progressively got pushed back, so I have this, um, this Terax here, so it's pretty similar to the last time, power start one, go with the light, go for the medium, SP2, SP3, literally the same fight, um, but yeah, so we were trying to like, or actually this time I chained the heavy into the SP3 to make it do just a little bit more damage for funsies. Um, to try to like get this war started, um, I didn't want to have to boost like three or four separate times because I have to take some different fights in different sections. And they wanted me to take down, so I have the power stack mini boss. And I'm like, I don't want to have to boost for just these two fights and then boost like for EMP and for my section and then have to like also go back in first i'm like tr we're trying to like organize it so that way we can take the mix master and it just took forever and then finally everyone was around the one guy was gone for a couple minutes and i'm really sorry to him and to the other couple people because i kind of spammed them with tags for a little bit because we were all really confused because they were there and they just vanished so this is my first fight with my newest rank four which is nimrod which i guess i should probably do a video or something about nimrod as well He's such a fun champion, I really like having him at rank 4 now. So the power start 1 just gets you going in this fight so fast. I get up to eradicate, I have my 8 armors, so it does a lot. And, oof, that dex, when I saw it, I'm like, okay. if I, I have to dex to bait out this special, but if I dex, does he go SP3? And my officer offered me his Mr. Fantastics, so I'm really glad that I had those. Because without that, I would have eaten the SP3. I think I would survive because he doesn't have any prowess, but I would get a DOT on me, which I don't really want. The other effect doesn't really concern me, having a weakness or a concussion. Concussion doesn't matter, it'd be the best possible outcome. Um, so, I was really glad when that didn't happen from the backup recovery, mainly because of the Petrify. That fight took a little bit longer for a Nimrod, even though I actually had full suicides and boosts on and rank 4. And he's also max sig now, so that was a pretty long fight for a Nimrod, but Apocalypse has such a high health pool, it's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, right before this, he was telling me he's supposed to place a, uh, a pre-fight on, and then he was just chilling there for a minute, so I thought I'd ask him. You're all good, Zap, though. You're all good. So yeah, uh, this war is going pretty well so far, so... Just bef before I even get to the score, if you don't keep up with the T1 news too well, Noon was the alliance that tried to start the boycott before season. Uh, the boycott fell through, kind of, but New Nation made it known to most alliances that they were going to be taking the season a little bit lighter, not really pushing, especially against like the bigger alliances. Like when they faced JA, they placed like. 20 something dooms all on boss island like just as a troll and it was really funny and so like the same thing kind of against us they're not taking it too seriously and you'll you'll see it in the deaths so it also ran, came into our side a little bit we didn't take it maybe as seriously on like time as we normally would have but we kept our deaths pretty good so this fight this fight actually gets very very sketchy this and the next one are a little bit closer than i'd like them to be so we don't have horsemen because they banned Apocalypse. They were actually one of the first people to ban it against us when Apocalypse wasn't like a ban for season as well, just like just to target us. So this first part goes very, very well. Uh, 17 hits, he's into his LMD phase. Pretty good. But I took five parries for my bubble shield. So right here, I get out his SP2. Okay, fight's going fine, fight's going fine. He throws his heavy, fine. Two bleeds, pretty good for no horsemen, and I don't have a white magneto on my team. Uh, my officer and I talked about that before the season, but get ready for this. I'm at 10, 4k. Oh, I thought there was going to be a second hit. I thought I slowed it down when it had a 9k total. Oh, maybe that was the 9k. He's hitting at 9k if he does two hits into my block, and right here, I'm getting pretty low. So. I have suicides on, and because I'm boosted rank 4 with suicides, if you saw at the start, I was taking 500 damage a tick and only healing for like 100 something, because boosts don't apply to willpower, but they apply to suicides. 
so it was going a little bit crazy into my health and then that block damage was very close and that end I played I want to say I played that well at the end but if I'm being honest I just got a little not like lucky but I was trying to no no block heavy bait him which normally Nick Fury is actually very willing to do but this war he was being very very hesitant on that so this King Groot here I was actually again I kind of wished I had a white magneto for this fight because I have to try to not dex before my sp2 and i can't dash back too much but then i just immediately dex on this fight well that goes out the window then so i change up my plan completely and i'm trying to decide if i want to go for the his long fight rotation which if you don't know it it's you get to sp3 and then you use your power gain after sp3 so it's a super long power gain buff but I decide I'm going to use it to get up to my SP3. I eat two heavies in this fight, which is really weird. On the first one, I wasn't sure on the timing to not dex it, so I kind of hesitated, but I had the indestructibles. But on that one, I just fully, like, brain farted, just did not move. This SP3 doesn't do the most for an SP3, but it gets me back another bar of power. And because he shrugged off the Fate Seal, or the Damnation, which I didn't realize... I accidentally um, dexed after it because he shrugged off the power lock, making it so I didn't realize that my next cycle had already started. I thought I still had a second. I was kind of confused there, so I still dexed. But fortunately, this SP3 with all the armor breaks and I think a double fury does a lot of damage. Because King Groot is kind of a thick boy, if you couldn't tell. And so I just went back during that. I paused the recording really quick and I went back. And it was a 200k SP3. So yeah, that was definitely a double fury SP3 with a lot of armor breaks. Right here, I'm just going to heal up my Archangel before the Kitty Pride fight. Um, because I'm going to throw on a regen boost. Because I'm going to use Archangel for that torch. And I'm going to be using Nimrod here for the Kitty Pride, and I didn't care to use another Power Start 1 only for this one fight. Because, again, you'll kind of see why later. And so this fight, it's a Kitty Pride on Buffet. Uh, the Buffet can make it a little bit annoying, I guess, to use Nimrod. But I just, because it's Buffet over time now, and Masochism over time and all that stuff, you just really turn the heal into a shock, and if you play it fast enough, they don't really heal at all and it's pretty good so right here i didn't switch over because i wanted to get a couple armor ups for this um for my sp2 so i'm able to, i was just off so i wasn't able to get the extra two armor ups but the two armor ups were enough maybe if i had the extra two armor ups i don't take recoil but yeah it's whatever for this torch is also part of why i wanted the regen boost up because I could actually use, um, what's his name, CGR for this now because they changed it so it no longer has Buffet or the Power Drain, it's now Block Penetration and the Armor Nodes from Path 3, but Torch doesn't have Armor Ups and there's no Buffet, so I could have also used CGR because he's Incinerate Immune, but I was assigned Torch or Archangel for this and he is a rank 4. Maybe I should have honestly used CGR so I don't have to heal. That's probably my officer will tell me right as he sees this video. He'll tag me and get all mad that I healed instead of using CGR. Um, but it's a pretty easy fight with Torch. I think it would have been easy with CGR too, unless there's something I'm forgetting about. So, if you could tell, I have the boss today, which is really crazy. So, um, this is actually my first boss in GT40. I don't really even take boss that often in off season, just because when it's off season, I sometimes get really just like lazy and apathetic about logging into MCOC. And so this is at least my this is for sure my first on season boss, and I don't really take him off season that much. So this is the first boss I've taken in a bit, and it's a Weapon X, but I have a Nimrod. So the only like thing about this fight is normally like Nimrod against a Weapon X is kind of immortal because. You're gaining double double armor ups, you have your crit resistance and all of that. But 
for weapon X on boss, he has true strike, so he does ignore your armor ups. But that's not really that big of an issue, because you're still Nimrod, and he still has a ton of regens and stuff that you're just going to take advantage of. But now, he is a thick boy. Kind of like I said about that Apocalypse earlier, but even bigger. Because he's boss, and he's rank 4, 14k attack, and 500k health. And here's my first boss in GT40. So I get out that first heavy really quickly. My plan was to try to re-parry as much as I could early on, but I wasn't doing it too well. I was going, I ended up getting more intercepts than I originally thought I was going to. I was going to try to use my, um, my special 2 before he went into his first rage, but that didn't quite work. So right here, I'm just waiting for eradicate mode to start. Or not eradicate, but for me to get to 10 charges that I can eradicate. And that's why I wanted to go for more reparry, so I'd have higher damage, and I would go to eradicate. And because I'm duped now, I'm unblockable for that. And that first cycle took me all the way, took him down to 50%. And while unstoppable, I was able to get a couple reparries and eradicate. So I'm up to 10 armors, and now I'm actually hitting really hard, even on base hits. And I actually think I stay in eradicate for like the rest of the fight, because... I'm either removing his regens, or I'm repairing to gain armors, and both of those kind of extend it. So he's almost done, I have power drain, and right here I actually get a little bit lucky, because I didn't fully realize he was about to go back into his unstoppable. Fortunately I realized it just in time. And he's aggressive, so I'm able to get the light intercept onto him pretty easily, and the SP1 finishes him off. And that is my first boss solo. Only a minute and 15 in, 16k biggest hit, and for 500 health, not too bad. And had all the, all the boys there watching, you know? Had Zap and had uh, Jade West, who's a secret, but they left because it's sad. Um, that's not the point, though. But yeah, great job to the team. BG1 did pretty well this war. So that's what I was saying. Uh, Noon clearly not taking it 100%. They're not a 50 death alliance. Um, Five deaths isn't too bad for us. We had a couple uh, silly deaths, but again, we kind of knew they weren't taking it too seriously, so it's not really an issue. Uh, great job to them, though, and I'm glad that they're sticking with their guns of not using items this season. I'm I'm glad that they're doing that. Um, they're still going to get some good rewards. They're noon. I doubt they'll drop like out of P1 or something, and then they'll have a ton of loyalty and a little spy stuff from the store. So, GG to them, GG to all the guys I know in there. Got a fair few guys in there. Uh, no, actually, no New Nation people were on call that day. But yeah, it was a lot of fun playing against them, as always. Uh, a little bit of banter in the chat. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye!